In the celebrated example of prisoner's dilemma, we have this general scheme where the two prisoners can either cooperate or not, defect as it's called. If they both cooperate, they get some payoff A, and if they both defect, they get a different payoff D, where A is greater than D. However, if they miscoordinate and one of them cooperates and the other defects, then the cooperator gets the lowest possible payoff and the defector gets the largest possible payoff. And that's true symmetrically here as well. And this uh, a very well-known example that has a rather counterintuitive uh, paradoxical properties. Um, most games uh, are not as uh, conceptually uh, confusing. Here's an example that's conceptually very clear, and these are games of pure competition. The situation here is limited to two players, where one player's payoff is exactly the complement of another player's payoff. So they always sum to some constant c. Often that constant is, is zero, um, and we call them for that reason zero sum games, as opposed to constant sum games. And since um, they do sum to zero uh, or to a constant, we only need to uh, remember one number, the payoff to one of the players, uh, and we can infer the payoff to the other player from that. Here's the most uh, simple uh, version of it. Uh, this is games of matching pennies. So you and I each need to uh, pick either heads or tail for the, uh, for the coin. If we pick the same side, either heads or tail, I win, which means that uh, I get a payoff of one and you have minus one. If we uh, miscoordinate, and so I pick heads and you tail, or the other way around, then you win. A very straightforward game of pure competition. Here's another where a very well-known uh, similar games uh, with three actions for both of us, and that's the game of rock, papers, and scissors, uh, also known as Rochambeau. And so if we pick the same action, then it's a draw. And otherwise, there uh, are rules for who wins. For example, if I pick rock and you paper, then you win. If I pick rock and you scissors, then I win, and so on. Again, the payoffs in both cases sum to zero. Just parenthetically, um, this very simple children game um, actually has an annual competition that carries uh, a non-trivial prize of $10,000. And it's actually a sobering thought that uh, when we look at this trivial game and uh, perhaps chuck a little bit, if we actually participate in this competition, uh, we'd actually think hard about how to play it. Here's the other extreme of a uh, game of pure uh, coordination or pure cooperation. In this case, uh, all agents have exactly the same interest. In other words, their payoffs for every uh, action uh, vector that they uh, take is the same. And so the utility for player i is always the same of utility for player j for every action, sequ action vector that they choose. And so again, we here too, we only need to uh, write in each cell of the matrix only one number because it's common to all the players. It drives home the perhaps the uh, unfortunate term uh, non-cooperative game theory that describes this dominant strand of game theory we're discussing for now. Uh, it's, uh, the name would suggest that these are games for, uh, that describe situations that are inher inherently conflictual, uh, but as we see, uh, they apply also to games in which the interests of the players uh, coincide. So here's a, here's a game that uh, describes the, uh, a, a purely uh, co uh, cooperative situation. Uh, you and I walk each other uh, toward each other on the sidewalk. We can each decide whether to go to our respective left or our respective right. And if we pick the same side, then all is good. We avoid a collision. If we don't, then uh, the uh, then we do uh, collide, and that's equally bad for both of us. Of course, in general, games will be neither purely cooperative nor purely uh, conflictual, 
And here's a, a game that uh, exemplifies that. This is a game that's called Battle of the Sexes. So imagine a husband and a wife who want to go out to a movie. There are two movies they uh, could choose from. Uh, let's say Battle of Armageddon and uh, Flower Child. The one, a violent m war movie, and the other is a, uh, is a romantic comedy. Uh, above all, they want to go together to the movie. If they go to different movies, then they are equally unhappy. So they want to go to the same movie, but they have conflicting preferences. The uh, wife clearly would uh, prefer to go to uh, Battle of Armageddon, and husband, romantic as he is, would like to go to Flower Child. So both cooperation and uh, competition in this game.